nerds, it's Tiri. Welcome back to my show. As I mentioned in a previous video, Blizzard's taking applications for an internship where you can go and learn a thing or two about making video games. The new bit of news I have on this is that they're doing a Q&A with the Blizzard team. I will link it in the description and it's on the 24th. You can go and ask questions and find out what it's like to work at Blizzard. And if you have questions about the internship itself and requirements, how to build a portfolio and whatever other questions you may have. The last day that they're taking applications for this internship is January 31st. The updated patch notes for the World of Warcraft public test round patch 5.2 will be linked in the description below. It was updated on January 17th. I've heard a lot of people ask why Blizzard does what they do when it comes to nerfing and buffing bosses, nerfing and buffing players, and things like that. There's been a little bit of discussion by Greg Street, lead designer, on his Twitter page, but there's a bit of a sum up on the World of Warcraft official website on why and how they decide to nerf and buff bosses and fine tune different things. They obviously, their primary goal is to fix the bugs and all that good stuff. And also how we, as we get further into the expansion, they want more people to be able to clear the content before the new stuff comes out. It's tough to do that while also not wasting the effort of guilds that are really close to a kill and then all of a sudden it's nerfed. And then all that effort is wasted because then when they go to kill it again, they don't even need to worry about some of the strategy that they just spent hours learning. It's a tough decision for them. So hit the link below if you want to read more about it. Thanks for all your positive feedback and negative on my Borderlands 2 with Dodger and Tyranny episode 2 that I uploaded yesterday. Uh, yeah, I know. There's a couple things I need to work on, but in my defense, if you saw episode 1, I'd never played it. And I'm not a huge first person shooter girl, I'm kind of getting into that with Borderlands, so cut me some slack, man, I'm learning. Yaz Prevents semi-finalists on their PvP tournament that's going on right now will be linked in the description below that also has their stream times and the stream link. There's like $16,000 worth of prize money involved in this, so it's pretty intense. People are, you know, trying to kill each other and stuff, so that makes it intense. But then when they're killing each other for money, well, I think the result is obvious. The intensity intensifies. So I haven't been watching it so far. I totally haven't been watching it, but I think I'm going to start now that, you know, when the semifinalists are selected, that's when, that's when it gets a little bit more intense. Couple things about World of Warcraft Patch 5.2 as well that I haven't mentioned yet. I think I might have touched on the Valor thing, um, mainly because they are bringing in new Valor gear. It has been finalized in Patch 5.2. So, but your Valor is not going to roll over. So you can't just build up a bunch of Valor and then buy the new gear. They always do it that way, pretty much. But just as a reminder, when Patch 5.2 hits, your Valor is going to be reset, probably converted into Justice Points. That's what they've done in the past. Um, so you might want to spend whatever Valor you have before the patch hits and buy the gear that you can buy with it. And then that way you'll be more effective in your raids without wasting any Valor. Sounds like a plan. More Greg Street story time on gear scaling will be linked in the description as well. He has expressed his opinion and advice on gear scaling, and hopefully it helps you out. In patch 5.2, they're adding in a cosmetic enchant for PVPers that reach a 2200 rating. So you can stir up your stuff by looking fancy. They're making some changes to PVP gearing as well. They're taking away the rating requirement to purchase gear. How often you PVP will positively affect your rating in such a way that people can't just get to a certain rating and sit on the top and stop PvP because the more you PvP, the higher your rating goes. Of course, it still takes into account who you've beaten, how many wins you have, stuff like that, but it's definitely going to have more of an effect on your rating if you PvP a lot versus a little or none at all. More of a detailed description on the PvP changes that are coming in patch 5.2 and patch 5.3 will be linked in the description below. Many Diablo fans are waiting 
ever so impatiently for the PvP that they're implementing in Diablo 3. Here is a first impressions by Archon Inferno Fridays where he does some of the Diablo 3 PvP and the PTR and tells you what he thinks about it. And I'm curious as to what you guys think about it, if you've been trying it as well, so let me know in the comment section. Blizzard is also encouraging anyone that's not trying out the public test rounds to definitely try it out because they want as much feedback as they can get. They want to know what you think before they release it in the live patch. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is a Minecraft mod that seems pretty helpful. It's called Crafting Plus, and it allows you to make a crafting table with a normal crafting table, a book, and a diamond. When you put this crafting table down, it looks like a glowstone, and when you use it, you can see the recipes rather than tabbing out and going to Minecraft Wiki, memorizing them all, using an app on your phone, whatever you do. You can look it up within the game and see how something is made. However, it will only show you the things that you can make, so you kind of got to remember what the mats are as far as I can tell from reading about it. I will link in the description below the link to the add-on if you want to try that out. But that is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your positive feedback. Please leave me a comment. Let me know why you liked or disliked this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all. Bye-bye.